hello friends uh, i would like to share my experience and one of my friend asked me to develop a script it should provide a solution if the database are not using that version level compatibility uh, then it should display to the upgrade to that version for example if i am using sql server 2022 for 22 the compatibility level should be like 160 if the compatibility is not uh, if uh, the databases which are under uh, uh, which uh, which are under sql server 2022 and the compatibility is not level 160 so it should warn that like we need to upgrade to the 160 so it is like a suggestion either it is for i mean whether uh, we can take that our suggestion or not that's all up the second uh, say other part of the story but the requirement what uh, it comes to us means like it if it is not using that version level compatibility then it provide that the description first i have tried so many ways and uh, like i i mean i have uh, uh, taken major version like uh, product version major version level functions i i created temp tables i, I try to be in everything like one by one i tried using crushers so one by one by i tried and finally i got this output okay so here i have created a temp table uh, okay temporary data temporary table after that i am inserting the data i am first i have taken the product major version okay after that name and compatibility okay in the compatibility level i am uh, using the case statement if the product version is 11 then compatibility level and compatibility level is uh, 110 then uh, it should match like uh, like uh, uh, this thing having latest version if uh, if not so else it will convert and it uh, product major version into 100 means if for example 160 into 160 right so as nvrcal so it will prompt us so here uh, i have skipped that master databases if you have like distribution other the other uh, what other databases you can uh, you, you can manually filter by using names as well later on i used to filter from the respective tables okay i mean respective columns in the temp table so after that i am dropping the temp temporary information that is not required after so if i see i am using sql server 2022 so if i click execute so i am having three databases three databases one database is having 100 so it is uh, suggesting us to use 160 okay so now i am moving to 2019 okay so if i click execute so this database is using 110 which is less than 150 row so it is saying that please upgrade to 150 okay so this is how um, uh, we need to develop the scripts and i am going to print the script so but but meanwhile i can i can say that uh, it will take time and so first we need to get the idea of what kind of where we need to get how to convert the data types to one how to filter like so many things will become to first we need to uh, bring all the data into once okay so i'm going to give this script and i hope uh, you may like uh, the experience what i have shared uh, just give thumbs up and like your feedback as usual thank you bye